ASA Abloy is the global leader in door hardware solutions, renowned for innovation and consistently listed in the Forbes Top 100 Innovative Companies. When challenged with how to adopt new automation technology into their assembly plant, the manufacturing team in Auckland, New Zealand chose the lock body assembly line for their first project. This line required a number of repetitive wrist and shoulder movements which presented health and safety concerns. ASA Abloy New Zealand was looking for a solution to automate production, which would also ensure the delivery of products to market faster and more cost effective, with the highest level of quality. We're at the Auckland site where we're producing uh, our latest run of mortise locks and hardware. We have around 240 people in the business and around 140 of those are involved in manufacturing. And our value proposition in New Zealand involves mass customisation with very short lead times. We needed to deliver on a market expectation of two-day lead times, so the solution that we sought had to be highly flexible. So the new Cobot technology opens doors for automation opportunities that we previously thought were impossible. The UR5 beats the drum of ASA Abloy's lock body production line, eliminating the repetitive tasks of part selection and screw driving, ensuring consistency of product and delivery across the company's production line. We engaged a local company Design Energy, who's a distributor, to help the guys understand how to further advance the UR on the platform. So they helped us with advanced training and both the automation engineers that are using the Cobot are now making a huge difference in terms of different applications we're deploying. The commissioning integration of the Cobot was crucial for us in order to get her accepted by her co-workers. So we decided to have a bit of fun. We had a naming competition for the Lockbodies team and they named her Victoria. Victoria is the final assembly in the Lockbodies process. So what Victoria does is selects the forend plate and the packer puts them onto the top of the lock body. It then screws two screws in place, picks up the lock body and puts it onto the conveyor belt to feed to the packing line. The big thing about Victoria is she can process up to 32 different variants of product and we achieve that without guarding. One of the other benefits has been the consistency that we now get in the final assembly stage. So the quality of the product that we're sending out is measurable and we're able to actually see a distinct change in the number of returns that we get from the marketplace. That also leads on to uh, cost savings that we get and those cost savings are now something that we're able to plan and work towards with the production that we have inside the team. So the team's able to be redeployed again and we expect to be seeing a cost saving within the next 12 months that would help pay for that UR5 robot. So the staff reaction has been very positive. The team has actually taken on board uh, all the new skills that they're learning in operating that uh, UR5. It means a lot less rotation for the team at the moment. So previously they were rotating every two hours through that position due to the physical demands of that final assembly. With the change, we're now able to rotate them once every half day, right into more valuated tasks on the assembly line. The UR5 has changed the game for ASA Abloy in the local market by working with universal robots. The UR5 also ensures ASA Abloy New Zealand can deliver on its operational strategy of mass customization with short lead times, which provides a key competitive advantage. Based on the success of Victoria's installation and commissioning, we are currently uh, developing a process using two UR5s for another process which involves 22 different variants of product. 